This video is just over 15 minutes long and introduces the main features of the Breakout Rooms extension from Robert Hudeck that enables you to use Breakout Rooms with classes in Google Meet. This extension is useful if you want to use breakout rooms with your classes when using Google Meet. The standard breakout rooms feature is only available in the enterprise version of G Suite for Education. So this is really useful and it automates a lot of the things like opening all of the rooms in one click, um, switching between the rooms very easily uh, to check on what's happening in them. Um, and also you can broadcast your audio to all of the rooms and say, let's all come back together now. Um, so really useful extension. Um, there's a bit of a learning curve there. So um, a few things to learn about it, but they're all included. The key features are all included in this video. Breakout rooms are of course useful for discussion and quite often in class you'll get might have students discussing things in groups. Um, it's a little bit different using Google Meet. You won't have line of sight so you need to consider which class you're using this with um, and how you're grouping students. You may went, want to make use of other adults that you have in the class um, to monitor some of the breakout rooms um, and you may want to assign students to lead the discussions in the different rooms in this format. Um, you can switch quickly between the different rooms, but you do lose that line of sight you would have in the classroom. Um, so it's important to be really specific with instructions and also the timings for the discussion. Although, as you'll see, this extension lets you broadcast to all the rooms and say, come back together again. Um, and also this lets the extension lets you with one click remove all students from the room um, and end all of the, the, the rooms at the end of the lesson. I split this video into four different sections. Uh, firstly, finding and installing the extension, uh, then looking at setting up the rooms in advance, um, how to get those links for the breakout rooms ready for when you're teaching a lesson, and finally, launching Google Meet and managing uh, moving between the different breakout rooms. As you go through the video, you may want to pause on the different steps and rewatch any sections that you need to watch again. The first thing we're going to do is install the extension. So we can do that by going to the chrome.google.com forward slash web store. Um, or just like everything, we could just Google it as well. And click on the first link. And quite simply, at the moment, you can just type in breakout um, and it comes up as the top hit. Um, it's the most popular. Uh, breakout Rooms extension, um, but just to check on it, um, it's this one here, Google Meet Breakout Rooms by Robert Hudeck. And we just have to click Add to Chrome um, and then click on Add Extension. And that adds it, adds it to our Google Chrome. We can check by clicking on the little jigsaw piece here and we can see it's there. We're now going to look at getting started uh, with using this breakout room. Now I'm going to create some breakout rooms um, for a class that I've got. So I'm going to go to classroom.google.com. Um, so I'm going to go to Google Classroom. Um, just a reminder that you can also choose it from the apps picker, just these uh, these nine dots when, when you're logged in on Google Chrome. Um, so you can just go in via the link there to Classroom also. and. I've got a class here just called demonstration class. Now I've turned on a meet link for this class. So this class has um, has a, a meet room. Um, if you don't have that for your class, you can go to the settings and turn that on. Um, so that is here in meet and you can choose whether it's visible to students. Obviously it needs to be for them to click on it, um, but you can turn that on and off um, should you wish to. OK, so I'm ready. I'm going to create it for this class. So I'm going to launch the extension now. Just click on the extension button here and click Google Meet Breakout Rooms. And this pops up a little window for this extension. So the first thing we need to do is go to courses. <clears throat> now, this is a little bit confusing, the word courses. It probably classes would be better, um, but you create one for each of your classes. So if I click on the plus button here, um, you would name your class. Um, and I suggest using the same name that you have in Google Classroom. In this case, just demonstration class. Um, I can put a description of it here, um, but uh, um, 
I've created that course now and just click on the little save icon there. So that's important just to create this because it will save the breakout rooms for any classes that you're using this with. So if you've decided you want to use breakout rooms with three classes, you can um, save the, the settings for those three classes. Now I'm going to go to the rooms tab, just click on rooms. And in the drop down menu, I can choose from a courses list here, demonstration class. And this is where we need to set up our breakout rooms. Now the main room needs to be the one that you have here. So we need to go here and we just need to right click it and copy it and paste it into where it says main. Okay, so I've pasted the link to the demonstration class into the main room here. Okay, and we can see it's the right class because it says demonstration class here. Now, I you can't save too much, so I'm just going to click the save there. Um, and I want, let's say I want to have two breakout rooms for this class. I'm just going to click this green button to add another room. Actually, I'll do it a couple of times to add two rooms. And I'm going to call the first one break, breakout one and the second one breakout two. And then you need to, in here, type in um, an, a, a link, basically, for these breakout rooms, but it will create them with a nickname. So the easiest way to do this is just to create an individual nickname for them. Um, just bear in mind, you can't have any spaces in this, um, but I might call this, for example, so I'll put my initials there, type in demo, name of the class, and B1 for breakout one, let's say. For the next one, I might type in CHT again, demo B2. Okay, so I've created two breakout rooms. Um, in fact, let's just create a third one. Breakout three, CHT, demo B3. And again, I'm going to save that. So what I've done now is just set up those rooms. I've clicked the Save button. So whenever I select, I can go to my course. There, all the rooms have gone. But if I go back to Demonstration Class, there, my, there are my rooms. So the breakout rooms are saved for you to use whenever you work with that class. Um, in the next video, we'll go through then how to launch the rooms. So just before I go over how to launch the classes, I just wanted to uh, mention how we could go and just get the, the links to the different uh, breakout rooms ready for students. Um, and that's very easy to do, but I'll just show you where you go to do that. So if you click on the Meet button, the Meet tab at the top of this extension, and just scroll down where it says Assign Breakouts, Ad Hoc. We can click on there. It's quite a lot of text in there, but if you're just looking for this button here, um, please click here, it says, and then here is in blue. If you click on that, a little pop-up will, will come up and it says, and there's step two, copy breakout room links. You can just click here where it says there, and that is copied. So we could then paste that somewhere. Um, that's copied the links to the breakout room. So we can easily paste that into the Google Meets chat window so that students can get to those breakout rooms when we want them to go there. Um, now, there are a few more advanced features here where you can assign students and then copy and paste that. Um, that's all quite a, a little bit more advanced and happy to go over that with anyone. Um, but um, but just for the purpose of this, to get those links, you just click on that, that here button here and that one there. Um, and you get those links and you can put it into a Word document or something ready to paste into the chat window. OK, so we've created our course. Um, we set up the rooms for it. Um, and you, once you've saved all of that, you can go to the courses tab under the rooms tab and, and choose your different classes. So uh, if you've got 10 different classes to choose between, if you're using that, you know, breakout rooms for that many classes, you can quickly switch between them each time you teach them. Um, and so we're ready to start our lesson. One last thing I'd recommend is in the settings, changing the, the breakout rooms display to tabs instead of tiles, um, simply because if you choose tiles, it will open a, a window for each of the breakout rooms and the main room. Uh, whereas if you choose tabs, it will choose, you open just one window and put the breakout rooms, organize them onto tabs, which is a lot more manageable. So we'll now go to the main meet tab here in the extension 
and I'm ready to start my class. So if we go down to the start class section and just click on that, it will show us the option. Again, we can choose our different classes just from this area if we want to as well. Um, so I've only got one class set up on this um, account. So I'm just going to go choose demonstration class. And if you remember, we set up three breakout rooms. So we have the option to choose up to three breakout rooms. You might not want all three for all of them. Um, but you can set up more, you, you know, we could have 12 breakout rooms if that was required. Um, so you can have several different breakout rooms here. I'm going to go for three for this lesson. And, and I'm going to click on the open slash sync both button here. And that's where I launch my different rooms. So I'm just clicking on that. Um, and this would be useful to do, you know, five minutes before your class starts or something like that. Um, just to get them open ready. There we go. Um, so what I've got now is a new Chrome window. It's, it's opened up and I can switch between, and I've got different tabs there. Now I'm switching between them in the way I usually would by clicking on them. Uh, and also I should note that um, this pop-up window that happens when you go into Google Meet, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, that does pop up every time one of the, the Meets open. So you just need to click on the cross just one time at the start to get rid of that. Now I was just clicking on the tabs along the top there, but the point of this extension is that you actually can you can switch between them using these arrows and it will take you to the different rooms. So let's say I'm talking to my class in the main room. I want to turn on my microphone maybe to talk to my students and I may or may not want video. I could turn the video button on if I want to um, or turn that off. And um, when I'm ready, I can then tell them which which breakout room they're going to go into and I can get that link. So we might have, like I showed you previously, you might have already put that into a Word document, uh, but I can easily just go here and get that link again. So I'll just click that, go, go to the chat window in my main room and I'll just paste that the link there that it's given me and it gives the links to the students. Now, I won't go over it now because it would make the video very long, but um, there is the option to actually assign your students to different rooms and it will give you some text you can paste into the chat window showing them which room they're in so that's quite a nice useful feature it gets the student names from the people that are in the main room and lets you then assign them to breakout rooms um, but you'll find out how to do that just from reading the text here um, but um, that's quite a nice feature also okay and then it's worth saying that what's happening here when we're switching between rooms is actually that um, there's these buttons here to turn on the microphone, turn off the microphone. And as I switch to the next room, breakout one, for example, it's muting all of the other rooms and just putting my microphone and speaker on uh, for me in breakout one. So if I go to any of the other rooms, you'll see it's all you know, videos off, microphones off and the speakers off. So I'm not going to be hearing the other rooms. I'm not going to be talking to the other rooms. Um, it's just the one selected here on the extension. Um, as I switch through. So that's a really nice feature. You'll notice just underneath also, it, we've got an option to broadcast all breakout rooms. So if I click on that microphone button now, I'm now talking to all of the different rooms. Um, so the whole, all of those different rooms can hear me. If I want to hear them, I can click on there. So if I say, right, could you just stop talking now? I can actually hear if they've stopped talking, for example. Um, and I could broadcast my video to the different rooms also. So that's the main way in which you would use this. Now, there are some things you can do when you finish off. Um, I quite like this feature here, which you can mute all the students in all of the rooms with one click, uh, which I think is really, really neat, really useful. Um, and you can also remove students from the rooms and then you can hang up the room. So um, if I want to hang up all the breakout rooms, I can just click on that button there. And if I want to hang up the main room, I can just click on that button there. So this mute and remove participants option here is, is a useful kind of way of automating, muting all the students um, and closing those rooms down at the end of a lesson. Um, now, there are many other features. I'm not going to go over all of them now because um, it would make the video very long. Um, but those are the key features you need to be able to use this. I will mention just one other thing before I finish, which is in the courses tab here, you can back up your settings. And I'd recommend doing that if you're using it a lot. Um, so it's just this black button on the right hand side and it just exports it as what's called a, a, a TXT file. Um, it's a very small file that you can save somewhere. Um, you can email it. 
to yourself or something, or you can put it into a Google Drive, um, just as a back, regular kind of backup. backup. Um, you might want to change the name of the, the room there to, um, to yours or something like that. Um, and you can just then export that onto your computer. What that means is, um, when you've gone to all the trouble of setting those rooms up, if something goes wrong, you could just need that text file and you can re-import it. Um, the other place in which this might be useful is if you use more than one computer um, and you want to export all your settings to another computer with this extension installed. You would just then choose the file on the other computer and import it and you've got all of your rooms set up as you have on your main computer. Um, so I hope that was a useful introduction to this extension. Um, it does take a little while to get used to it and I definitely recommend practicing with colleagues if you're going to be using it, um, not going straight into a lesson necessarily and using it straight away. Um, but, uh, but once you're used to it, it can save a lot of time and really streamline the use of breakout rooms. Thank you.